Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an upgrade to our sweet print and place car. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one I'm going to tell you is to make a duplicate of your original. If you have not done this tutorial, I'll make sure there's a link up above and in the description. We make a duplicate so that way we can always go back to what we did before. Friends, we're going to click on one of these tires and we're going to do shift drag to bring it out. So that's one click away. Now we want to change the wheels for this mod. So we're just going to bring out a rectangle and we need to change that height to six. That's all it takes. We'll align it so it's going to cut. And we also want to cut off the top. So we're just going to do control D. Control up, 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 up. When you get close, you can do shift select on the old wheel or axle. And you can move it to the top. Friends, when you group those two, we are already ready to make our new custom wheel that's going to have traction. Friends, we're going to build our wheel up here by putting the work plane and putting it on top. And instead of a cylinder, we're going to use something crazy. Go to the new search, and I want you to type Pro. And when you see the Pro gear, I'm going to recommend you make it a favorite, and then bring it out. Now see these teeth? Those are going to be our treads. The only adjustment we're going to make is we're going to type 30 and press enter. We're going to hold down alt shift and we're going to shrink it a little, but then we're going to type 13. If we click back on this measurement, you can see these are 13 on a side. By doing alt shift, it was close to the right spot. We're going to change that height to six, hold down shift, and we're going to click on the black axle. And we're going to go back and choose middle and middle. Make sure you shift click so that the axle is what moves because that's lined up perfect already. Friends, we're going to make this a little bit cooler though. Friends, I want you to click back up here on the search and I want you to type array. A-R-R-A-Y. There is a circular array. When you bring it out, set it close to that middle. Switch to the custom. And then friends, I just want you to see how awesome this is. You can stretch and adjust any way you want. Switch it to a hole. And then if you hold down Alt and Shift, we can shrink it. Remember how the whole tire was 13? I'm going to type 12. If we do F to fit view, you'll notice it's sunk down too far. We're going to just do Control up to raise that up so it's poking out. We're going to do Shift, Select, and Align. And we want to make the wheel the boss and go Center and Center. Now notice that is sticking out just a little bit, so I'm going to click somewhere else. Click just on my cool design and do Alt Shift until it shrinks in. Now I'm going to switch to a 0.1 grid so I can bring that out and get it to the exact size that I think looks coolest. I'm going to do Shift Select again and do a line one more time. Notice I missed on this one. So remember how our wheel was 6? I'm going to do 5 for this. And then I'm going to do control down to push it in. But I'm going to make sure I have my one millimeter on. One, two, and that's looking pretty darn sweet. So friends, now if we do shift select, grab them both and hit group, we've got a pretty sweet cutout in our car. Friends, if you double click it, you can click on that piece and you can even edit it after you're done. It's crazy. When you click out here, it becomes permanent and our wheels are extra fancy. Let's quickly set up the back wheel. We're gonna do shift and down arrow so it's back as well. Click on our new axle piece and do control D. You can do your shift nudge to move it back. Shift select to grab the two, hit a line and choose center and center. And then we can delete the old axle. So now we've got two good axles and we can do control D, shift select, align, Bam. And let's take both of these and do shift select control D and then put our work plane down on the ground. And if we do D to drop, our wheels are down there, but don't forget we have to flip them just like this. You've got your cool little design on both ends. Now, friends, remember you can grab all of these, make sure your nudge is at one. And if you do shift nudge, you have just created sweet wheels that are going to have traction for your car. Friends, let's quickly rename this so we don't lose track. And let's make sure you keep track of the cool skills you've just added as you added sweet wheels that are going to have traction to your car. 
friends, once again, I want to say thanks again to Speedy Machines for making this cool design. And hopefully you are having fun following along as we make cool modifications. Of course, friends, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can find out about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.